are one of the first STEM schools in the country. We started in 2011 with the initiative of Dr. Marion Prince, professor of Andrew University in Michigan. Also, we have been partnering with Texas Instruments, TI, for the technical support for the makerspace. Now with this, we, I would like to call our school president and head of school, Mr. Yubra Sarmasar, to be on stage. We can do a lot of projects in the days to come. Our school and college and Bari Science Lab, we're signing an MOU to take Bari Science Lab to New York Heights, not within Nepal, we can take it to entire South Asian countries in you know, India and Bangladesh. So that is something we're trying to take initiative with Suborno. So this is now new journey, just started beginning with our initiatives in STEM, science, mathematics, and the, all the endeavors that we have been doing for the last 24 years at Himalayan White House. So I would like to thank and congratulate uh, Professor Rashidul and Suborno uh, for being here and uh, getting ready to sign an MOU for our next academic discourse and our collaborations together. for graduating from the University of Winnipeg with a degree in astrophysics. Professor Bari is the founder of Suborno Isaac Bari Science Camp, which aims to inspire young minds to pursue careers in STEM fields. Also, Master Bari is the author of the book called Love. And we would like to congratulate Master Bari for hitting 1 million subscribers on YouTube. So please give him a huge... Uh, I would like to call forth uh, Master Bari for some few words. Again, uh, today's interactive session. Actually, I have to go very soon. I'm sorry, spent a little, little too much time on the projects. But uh, I wanted to give you a short speech about, uh, you know, why people do mathematics. So actually, recently, uh, in February, I believe, I was invited to a very prominent university in the U.S. named Brown University uh, by a professor. So not to like lecture or anything, but just for a, a personal talk. And uh, we talked a lot about, uh, for example, <clears throat> Uh, Taylor series and Euler's formula e to the ix equals cosine x plus i sine x. But uh, instead of d delving deep into that math, I like to focus on a book that he gave me at the very end of that session. So he handed me a book named Letters to a Young Mathematician. I don't remember what the author was, actually, I should, but it was a, it's an absolutely wonderful book. I'm still reading it, though, so I'm not finished with it. So essentially, in, in the book, the author is talking personally to a young mathematician named Meg, who is still struggling through 10th or 11th grade, but he sees that she still has some real potential for math and science, and he wants to harness the, that ambition, and she, uh, he wants to tell her why people do math and science, what inspires them, why math and science is useful, etc. 